Welcome back to Wild Pines Farm. Today I have a plant haul video for you guys. I'm super excited about some of these plants, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So this first order I have, I ordered from three different places. All of them have been on Etsy, and I have ordered from these shops before, so they've, they've always been good ones to order from, in my opinion. Now the first one we're going to start off with is Hosta King. Um, I I think I bought some echinacea from them last year. So I mainly, I got, I got a 10% off coupon for their shop. So I wanted to get some of the lavender they had and some of the echinacea they had. So, spoiler alert. First up we have the echinacea. Now one of them looks really bad, um, not great, but I will contact them and usually they, they are very good about helping me out. Um, but the other ones look fairly okay. Uh, we just got little little plugs like that and these ones are actually the rainbow sherbet variety so I got three of those in a group and then the last one I got which you guys already kind of know um, is the lavender so every year we try to grow lavender and <laughs> doesn't always make it so I'm very confident this time we have four four plants and they look really good too I'm very happy with them. Now, I did I did bring up what variety they are because it's not written on here. And they are the Silver Mist Lavender. They smell so good. <laughs> Can't wait to plant these out. They're gonna, they're gonna be so great, hopefully. <laughs> I hope so. All right, so that was everything I got from Hosta King. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure which store I got this one from. <laughs> Um, this one though is our raspberries. So I don't, I don't think I've mentioned that we kind of have switched over to thornless varieties of raspberry and blackberry. We do have the fall gold raspberries that do have thorns, but I mainly want to switch over to thornless just because I could use the foliage for, um, arrangements and stuff as well as obviously the berries. Uh, so I've got, we had the Glencoe. I ordered one plant of that I think last year, probably maybe did a plant haul on it. Um, and then I ordered two more of them because I just we just wanted a couple extra of them, but we didn't quite know what they tasted like, so we weren't we weren't sure. Uh, so we just got two more. And then I wanted a, the Glencoe is kind of more of a darker berry. Um, I wanted more of just a traditional red raspberry. So I looked up potential varieties and Joan Jay was one of the, the most popular ones. So I ended up getting, I think five, two, four, no, six. Thought it was five this whole time. Six of the Joan Jay thornless raspberries, which I'm really excited about. Now they are bare roots, so we need to get them in the ground soon, but we can see, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see, there is some sprouting. Maybe we can, are we gonna focus? Whoop. I guess not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there is some sprouting happening on there. So that's a good sign. Now the canes, they look a little dead. They might not all, they might not come back to life up there, but they will from the roots. But a few of them, I'm seeing three sprouts so far. I really wanna get those in the ground. Now that's all I bought from that shop. Um, I will, I'll link it in the, the description box below. So the last one I got is in this big box. This is Rosie Bell Farm. And they, I mainly wanted to order their red papaya echinacea because I got it last year. Um, well, kind of more in the winter and we had potted it and it was doing great. And then we planted it and we got a late, uh, a frost and we just didn't cover it. And it just hasn't come back and there's nothing there anymore. So I really wanted to replace that. Too. That was the main reason for her, her order, uh, just because she was the only one that I saw that had it. Um, we have the Echinacea Hot Papaya. They came in these pots. These are so much like bigger. <laughs> I thought I'd be getting like little little plants, um, but they're in a nice big pot. They are wrapped up here for shipping. Well, there's tape here. I don't have anything to cut the tape with, but they also. Whoop. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting this off. Well, I can at least get to the tag. They do have a nice handy dandy tag. So you guys can kind of see 
what the uh, echinacea will look like. It's like a, it's a red uh, fluffy-ish echinacea. So that's awesome. I got, oh, here, hold on. I think we're, we're almost completely unwrapped here. Hopefully I don't drop it. So here we go. This is the plant. So I have to say, I'm really impressed with the, um, the packaging. <laughs> But it's really cool. I didn't expect the tag and on the back, just like all the nursery tags, it tells you the hardiness zone, the space, the, the plant height, all of that stuff. So it actually came in a three pack. So one, two, and three. And then it's not over. <laughs> we got a freebie, which was really exciting. Uh, this one is a Goldstrom Rudbeckium. So that was really exciting to see. I didn't know what it was at first. This was actually, well, this was also wrapped up, but I saw that this plant was in there and I was like, I don't know what it is. So I unwrapped it and then this little tag was in there and I looked it up, but that's really cool. It's just like a yellow Rudbeckia, um, which is really great because uh, I have and Ben, I know, has wanted more Rudbeckia on the farm here. So that's really, really exciting. But that is going to do it for this haul. I'm really excited for the raspberries and the echinacea and the freebie and the lavender. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. But let me know if you've grown any of these varieties um, and let me know which one is your favorite. Sammy, I was so close to being done, sir. Thank you. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you have grown any of these varieties before and let me know which one is your favorite. I am, I don't even know if I can choose a favorite because I'm so stoked to have lavender again. <laughs> and I'm really excited to check out the raspberries and of course the echinacea is cool and the, the free rudbeckia. <laughs> but I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time.